Hello everyone, my name is Sai Zia. I am a technical marketing engineer from Anapak Switching Team. I will continue a session of 1009 integration with Catalyst 9300 and 9400 series platform. This is the agenda for this session. I will showcase how we can deploy 1009 Enterprise agent using command line interface as well as deployment demo using Cisco DNA Center. Once Enterprise agent is successfully deployed, I will showcase a 1009 demo of how we can use 1009 dashboard, creating the desk and use it for network and application service assurance. Okay, so let me start with the CRI deployment and I will do a demo on DNAC deployment. Requirement is very straightforward, right? You have 9300 or 9400, you have to have DNA Advantage or Premium License and you have 1000 account. One of the most important thing is uh, your device have to be able to reach 2000 ions. It is in the cloud, right? So it is you, the switch might have to have a direct internet access or net or proxy option that you can able to use right and then again SSD is completely optional if your requirement is page load or transition test you are going to need Cisco SSD right? otherwise all different other tests there is no need for Cisco SSD so let me a little bit look at on on the slide and who are, how you can deploy it right on the left side again on the new deployment the new order of the switches we're going to have preloaded app hosting the application on the flash itself already right so you don't need to do anything you just uh, install it first in case of you have existing 9300 or 9400 you can download from 1009 account and transfer it to your switch right then you can be able to type this command right in app hosting install app id you can define your application name and location of your 1009 enterprise agent okay that is first step next step is you have to enable iox iox is uh, a cisco application framework and so since we are hosting application on can 9k we have to enable it just type config d and type iox pretty simple and then when you look at the diagram here, right, that is how the container architecture works in the can 9 k So you have your iOS XE and we have an interface called AppGate Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1. That is the interface that is directly connecting to, you, to your uh, container environment. All you have to do is you can just have to configure AppGate Ethernet port just a trunk and allow your application VLAN that is for your switch side from the application side okay, there is a configuration is required for the application right first thing is go to uh, app hosting define app ID give it the name and you need to define the application network right it's a virtual NIC so just app dash vnic app kit ethernet is the trunk and allow the same VLAN that you use on the app gate, right? And tie it to the get guest interface zero. It is referred to as eight zero on your container. And you can define IP address and the four gateway. It is simple enough. Then also you will need the Docker run option. What it means is every thousand account have a unique account token because it is in cloud based. So you have your own unique thousand account token and somebody else have a different their own uh, token account so you need to copy token from your account and paste it in this uh, box right pretty much that's it after that you are good to go you just have to activate the application and you can start the application all right and then you can able to see the status of your application with show app dash hosting list then you will see the application is running, everything is good. And after you successfully deploy, this your 1000 enterprise agent is going to show up in your 1000 account. Okay, just a three step, very quick and easy. And then you can able to start using your 1000 ions for your applications and network tests. Now let me talk about DNA center deployment. So you have all the requirement we have we have talked about. Only thing required is Cisco DNA center. 
official support version for 1009 is Center 2.2.2.x version and other than that all this requirement is already same as CLI deployment so, so now let me show you how we can apply 1009 enterprise agent with Cisco DNA Center all right this is Cisco DNA Center once you log into Cisco DNA Center you go to provision and uh, app hosting for switches there's an application hosting tab and you're going to see 1009 applications already loaded right if you don't see it you can able to uh, the process have to do is you have to go to 1009 account so let me go there 1009 account download the 1009 app so go to 1009 account cloud enterprise agent agent setting and new enterprise agent and go to Cisco application hosting that is where you see 1009 agent right there is two version one is the one with SSD and all the way down this is the one with SSD so based on your requirement you can download either of them so just download it once you download it and you are go back to Cisco DNA Center and again right also the token account I have mentioned earlier right this is the token so you can just copy it okay all right so go let me go back to DNA Center right and then you can just go to new application and select your the docker file you have just downloaded upload here right so in this demo I have already uploaded for you and just click on the device and all we need to do is here is we have to modify a little bit right run option here this is most of them are already populated the only thing you have to do here is uh, there is an account token the one we copy from the account you can able to paste it here that is pretty much we have to do and then but in case of you are using a proxy option you may need to change a little bit here right for example proxy location you may need to add your proxy location and you may need to add the proxy type pretty much that's all you need right other thing we don't need to touch any of these right you can just save it you are good to go click install and now it's the first step of this deployment is you are selecting your device right you see that how many devices you can able to select right this is coming from your Cisco DNA Center so you may see a lot of 9,394 devices along with any other devices. So you're going to see air hosting status. You see 9,200. It is not supported. That is ready, right, for 9,200. And I have a couple of 9,200 as well. I will just click one of the switch right now. And then the next step is about your network configuration. So that is where we define the VLAN right here. We just pick the VLAN. So you can just pick VLAN here and we are supporting either DXCP or static so I just use static option and give your IP right 10 1 3 yeah so just give maybe just give that one save pretty much that's it click snakes just validate the confirmation Make sure your token is correct, correct, and just finish. And yes, that's all you need to do, right? DNA Center will taking care of deploying the enterprise agent on all your devices you install. And also, DNA Center is providing you the complete life cycle, right? You can able to select device, you can able to stop, start, and uninstall all these steps you can able to do. Also, in case of some issue what you can do is you can able to see the log right there is a couple of log here right you select the 1009 account and see the application log that is relevant relevant for application specific and also tech support log so in case of you are seeing some issue with the device or with the application you can able to get the log and provide that log to the tech so that deployment is going on so what I'm going to do is I will showcase how we can use it now this is your dashboard what we can do with 1009 is you can able to start testing right so you just go to your cloud enterprise agent 
and you can able to see agent setting you will see that there is two agent the one we just applied is not showing up yet what you can do is you can just create testing right so when you create testing uh, I have already test two of the tests already but you now when you create new tests you can able to click new all right so how we can use the test here right so one of the use cases is you have your branch office and users are complaining that they cannot access to office 365 and they're saying that they are very slow so they think there's a network problem and for you you have to go and see where is the problem right because it's not within your network it is involved your network it involves service provider is also in, involved the cloud provider infrastructure so the easiest way you can do is just go to create a new test and you can just do HTTP test and just type office 365.com maybe any other no, cloud service based application is fine right and then you can able to select interval how many interval you can able to test right you can able to run once only one time is fine or also you can able to see the history of performance right you can able to see what time has uh, outage happen or when is outage happen and where is outage open so you can able to see select interval right so that is how thousand nine credit is consumed right the more frequently you are testing that will consume more thousand nine unit that is what we talk about in the offer so if you test every five minutes with the dna advantage license you can test every five minutes for one test with the whole month but uh, if you are using one hour or 30 minutes you can able to test more tests because you you have more extra thousand nine unit again it is adding as a pool so the more advantage of premium license you have you can have more uh, the more thousand nine unit right so it is up to you uh, your requirement i am going to pick one minute and now selecting the agent so selecting agent you're going to see it will show all the agent you have a thousand i have uh, cloud agent there is a different licensing the only focus today is enterprise agent click enterprise and you're going to see the enterprise agents you deploying all right so all of the three here is from k 90 so just uh, select the device that you want to test so just pick just one of them or two of them and then you can able to create the test right? there is a couple of advanced uh, setting that you can even adjust based on your requirement I will just leave it default and just click create the test that is how simple it is right you just can create the test and that will run every one minute so let me show you the example of how it runs so I have already run earlier so let me quickly show you that how does the, the result going to look like so now you see that it's going to show you from your agent it's one of that the switch and all the way to office365.com and in terms of the HTTP application level you see availability time response time throughput you can able to see from uh, 24 hour to 14 day right? based on the time frame you can see performance of the your web server right and also the network layer you can able to see the what is the network performance right it can be show the loss latency and jitter information obviously something is happening here so you can able to drill down and pick the time right you're going to see the that particular time frame it's going to lose like it's losing like 56 percent of the bandwidth right so uh, you can able to see where it is actually happening when why it is happening so you can just click bad virtualization and that is where you're going to see the where is actually outage happen right so from the left side is your k 90 switch and on the right most side is going to be office365.com you can able to see the every hop by hop information and you're going to see where it is actually outage happen Right, so so by looking at that you can able to see that when or where the outage happened that that can provide you the quick resolution in case that it happened in your network and you can escalate to your service provider or cloud provider in case there is the network is on their side right 
So that is the how we can test. So there is a couple of tests you can do. So when you go to test setting, you can able to see multiple tests. Right? You can able to see your network test, agent to agent or agent to server, DNS testing, web specific testing, and also the VOIP testing. So you can do multiple testing, uh, including the PGP test. Right. On top of that, right, you can able to create uh, a lot rule in case some outage happen more than like 25 percent of your bandwidth you can able to get you can create your alert to get your email right away one of the thing also i like to highlight is the device layer what device layer mean is the device layer is from your k agent thousand nine agent you can able to discover your neighboring devices which you think snmp information that can able to provide certain you know, the device layer information so for example there's a view i already discovered some of the devices and you can able to see that is your network topology right and you can able to see uh all the interface you can monitor right so these are the all the interfaces you want to monitor you can able to see what the particular interface or what is the throughput and what are the error what is the speed right and also on and also for example if you want to see uh interface flapping case right in case you see some interface up and down you can able to see when it's up and down you can able to trade a filter down and so on right so and also that the mostly like you can able to measure your network throughput performance on particular time and particular uh, date on top of that also you can able to see your cpu memory consumption of all the switch you just monitor right and also the high level overall throughput in and out ingress egress information so yeah it, it can provide you some type of uh, assurance as well on the device layer as well as your network and application layer that is how you can able to see right and on top of that you can you can create your own customized dashboard right and see the all of the throughput and you can create you can adding an additional widget to create your own specific requirement for the dashboard all right, so this will be my demo. Hopefully that is useful for you and hope you enjoy learning. Thank you very much. Have a great day.